hi all welcome to a new video so i hope uh, all of you are staying safe during these tough times so please do take care so today's video is about uh, the icsa new plan that is neo plan and we are going to discuss how we can activate this uh, new neo plan and what are the uh, changes which will come to your account once you are into this neo plan so let's get started so suppose uh, i assume like if you are already an uh, icic direct customer so probably you won't be able to uh, see the link to activate the uh, neo plan actually so i think uh, this link is already like by default enabled for the all the new customers who is uh, going to start the icic direct uh, trading account but for the existing customers uh, it's probably not enable uh, by default for me it was not enabled by default so i had to call to the customer care and, and i had to get it activated from from the customer care actually so for suppose if you are an existing customer and if you don't see the neo option to be enabled so before that let me show you where you can see that so this is i already logged into my icic direct account and if i click on here this is a settings button here so if i click on the settings button you can see there is an option called choose icic direct neo plan neo pricing so probably uh, some of you might not see this particular option here so if you are not seeing this option to enable the icic neo pri neo pricing plan so in such cases what you have to do is you need to sorry this is not the right page yeah so as it is mentioned here like you need to log into icic direct and it is saying you have to visit settings and click on neo plan so since this option is not enabled for you what you need to do is you need to call the customer care and they should ask ask them to enable this option for your account so i think probably it takes maybe five working days or something like for me it took around five to six working days for this to get enabled so once uh, the, they enable then you should probably be able to see the neo pricing option enabled here so that's how you enable the neo pricing for your account so after that to enable this you need to click on this neo pricing plan so once you click on that you should probably see the current plan which you are mapped to so as you can see my current plan is prime 900 so i am mapped to this particular plan and it also shows all the brokerage details of uh, once you move to the ICIC neo plan what are the brokerage applicable to you uh, if you uh, migrate to this neo plan so all this information is already available here so you can just go through this and also there is a small uh, video like which will be helpful to uh, know all the details about the neo plan so probably you can just uh, go and watch this video as well so uh, let me just scroll down and here they are given some more details about the neo plan so as you can see you can read through this so probably most of the information provided here is like uh, you can just uh, read and uh, it can understand but apart from there is one point actually this might be confusing for some of them so let me just focus on this particular point so as you can see in ICICI direct neo you will be compulsory compulsorily mapped to running account model so wherein you have to transfer money from your linked bank account to ICICI direct trading account so to understand this particular point clearly uh, let me show you something before we discuss on that so as you can see my this particular trading account is a 3 in 1 ICIC trading account so it's like it's integrated between the trading account DMAT account and a bank account so this current uh, account which I am using is a 3 in 1 uh, trading account actually so wh what is the difference between a trading account and what are the uh, like what are the differences you're going to see once you move to the ICIC new plan and you once you are mapped to a running account model so what are the differences uh, you're going to see so that's what we are going to discuss uh, in detail so before uh, i explain you what is a running account model let, let me just show you what are the uh, flexibilities of using a three-in-one account uh, so for that uh, for example just if i want to 
place an order so for example let me click on this place order so for example uh, if I want to place any order I need to allocate some uh, amount to my uh, trading account obviously like uh, if you want to take a trade you should have some uh, capital allocated for that trade so since mine is a 3-in-1 account it is as easy as like it's very easy to uh, allocate and delocate the funds for trading so for that we have a, a tab called allocate funds here so once I click on allocate funds so here it will show the bank account number which is linked to this particular uh, trading account and it uh, it will also show me the total bank balance which is available right now so these are the uh, information which is available to me so for example if I want to uh, this is like it shows the total uh, capital which you have in your account and if I want to utilize some amount of this for my uh, for my trading actually like to just to trade I want to utilize some of the amount which is uh, available in my account so it's as simple as that like I need to select this uh, basically for trading we need to add the money to this segment that is for uh, equity secondary market equity and ETF so this is the option where we need to add the money so we just need to select this add option and for example let me add 5000 and just need to click submit so that's it it's as easy as that as you can see that amount got allocated here and uh, now you can use this particular amount for placing a, a trade like you can use this amount for uh, your trading actually so if I you now go to place order and let me just switch to this tab okay in the new tab we are not able to see the limits that's okay uh, in the previous actually this is the new uh, interface which you are seeing in the previous interface there was an option to see the limits so now as you can see 5000 5, rupees has been allocated for placing a trade okay so uh, suppose uh, you have placed a trade and uh, by your like maybe you have made some profit or maybe it could be a loss or something so uh, once you have done with the trade uh, immediately you can take back this amount which is allocated for your trading so for example uh, I just uh, take this amount back to my account so I just reduce I'll say reduce I'll click on this reduce button I'll say again 5000 so if I submit again that amount directly goes to my account so as simple as that so it happens instantly uh, this feature is available by because we are using a 3-in-1 account so this is one of the advantage like uh, what I feel when we use a 3-in-1 account so like uh, allocating funds for trading is as easy as that and we can just immediately uh, take back that amount after once we are done with the trading we can just take, back, take that amount back to our account uh, instantly actually we don't have to wait or something like I have seen some of the brokers like suppose if you want to withdraw some money from your trading account you have to place a request and maybe you have to wait for some uh, hours to uh, get that amount credited back to your account so in this case it happens instantly so this is one of the advantage of using a 3-in-1 account so now let us discuss uh, this particular point oh, sorry let me go to that new pricing page again okay so if I again come to this page so it says if you opt for this NEO plan your account will you will be compulsory compulsorily mapped to running account model so it means that you will not have this uh, flexibility if you uh, map to a NEO account model like flexibility in the sense uh, you cannot have this allocate like you cannot easily allocate money from your account to uh, like uh, it, will, it will not happen instantly actually like it's like uh, you'll have you'll be having a uh, separate uh, trading account it's like uh, it will be you'll be having a separate ICIC trading account where you have to uh, transfer the amount which you uh, want for trading so basically you need to transfer that amount like most of the discount brokers and some of the other brokers um, you may you might be already knowing like uh, how they do actually like they will be having a, a trading account and the first we need to uh, add some money for trading once we are uh, like suppose if you want to withdraw it we have to place a withdraw request and we have to wait until we get that money it takes some time uh, it doesn't happen instantly so same thing will happen here uh, here also once you move to the ICICI uh, NEO plan like you will have a ICICI trading account 
so th this trading account you can link it with one of your savings account and from that savings account you need to uh, transfer the money to your ICICI trading account so that's what it means that it will be mapped to a running account model so uh, you will not have this uh, flexibility of easily allocate and withdraw funds from your uh, like just move your funds from your trading account to your uh, savings account so that flexibility you will use but still uh, like as per the brokerage plan and all which they are providing with the neo uh, neo plan it's actually sounds very interesting so probably you can have a look into it so I just wanted to focus on this point I just wanted to show you the how we can activate this new plan if you want to so that's all the information I wanted to add up in this video so uh, I hope uh, this video was helpful to at least someone who wanted to like just move to this uh, new uh, ICICI direct neo plan so thank you thank you for watching the video please do comment and if you already into a new plan please do let me know the feedback of how how you're feeling uh, with the new new plan and what is the experience using the new as i said new plan so thank you for watching take care